I don't know if that is in fact recording. It appears it is. All right. Uh, Derek, uh, my name is Steve Hain, and I'm an attorney. I'm here representing you and making this video in the context of work product and attorney client privilege. That is, it would only be uh, useful to you and me and John Fox and the other attorneys who are representing you unless we see fit to use it for other purposes. The reason I'm recording is this is because we're sitting in the Bellevue Police Department. Um, I have just spoken with the detective who indicated she's going to book you into the King County Jail tonight, mm -hmm. all right, uh, for suspicion of vehicular homicide, or I'm sorry, excuse me, vehicular assault because of an injury that happened in this accident, all right? Yes, so one of the things I want to do is establish whether uh, you are in fact oriented to time and place. And first of all, uh, prior to turning on this video, did I tell you what day of the week it was or what the date is or no, where sir. you are or anything like that? Or, no, okay. Sir. Well, I'm going to ask you a series of questions that police officers commonly ask people in these situations, all mm -hmm. right? First of all, do you know what street you were on at the time that this accident happened? At the time of the accident? Yes. No. I right. didn't know what the specific street I was on until the officer told me. I know I was on Factoria Boulevard. I'm about to make a right onto the street to go on to I-90 East. But you're just not aware of exactly what street that was? Right? I don't know specifically what street it was, but I know okay. the all street right. to get on to I-90 from right. Factoria. Do you recall which direction you were traveling? I was at the going time? eastbound. Eastbound. I was all making right. a last okay. I remember. I was making a right from Factoria to the street, going eastbound. All right. I was making a right to go eastbound. Now, prior to driving your car this evening, had you consumed any alcohol at all? No, sir. And prior to driving your car this evening, had you consumed any marijuana at all? No, sir. All right. Now, uh, do you know the day of the week? Winter. And do you know the date? The Date is October, Sunday, the 18th, 17th, 15th, 14th, October 14th. All right. All right. And 18th, do you know where you are currently? Uh, Bellevue, Police, Bellevue Police Department. All right. Um, do you in any way, shape, or form feel at all impaired or intoxicated by any substance at all? No, sir. All right. Have you taken or consumed any... Uh, drugs, prescription or otherwise, no. prior to driving tonight. All no, right. Sir. Okay. I'd like you to explain a little bit about yourself, if we may. Just give me a little background information. The reason I'm asking for this is because I can tell uh, from my earlier conversation with you, you seem perfectly sober, mm -hmm. perfectly lucid, and perfectly in possession of all your faculties. No, you do not seem at all impaired, but I think it's important for you to <clears throat> to be able to display that yourself. So tell me, where did you, where were you born? Where did you grow up? Tell me a little bit about your family. Uh, my name is Derek Amon Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, born October 18, 1990. Um, I was born in West Los Angeles. Um, grew up multiple places until middle fifth grade when I moved to Fullerton, California. Mm -hmm. um, been there ever since. Uh, went to UCLA uh, after I graduated Troy High School. Mm -hmm. um, after UCLA, I um, I went to Minnesota as a free agent. I never got drafted to the NFL. Um, that didn't work out. A couple months later, a couple months after training camp, I ended up uh, getting an offer up here to be on the practice squad uh, mm -hmm. about two and a half years ago, uh, three years almost. And um, yeah, just been here ever since. Right. Um, I'm also the first legally deaf offensive player in the NFL, also the winner of the Super Bowl. Um, All right. And are you married? Am I married? Yes. No. No. Okay. Do you have family? Otherwise, your I mean, your parents still alive or? Oh yes, yeah. my I have a dad, my mom. They're both down in California. I have an okay. older brother, older sister, um, right. grandma, grandpa. Everybody, but everybody's down in California. I don't have any family up here. Okay. Well, Derek, I appreciate it very much. I'm going to ask you to do a couple of other things that are common with some police departments in trying to decide if someone's under the influence. Yes, some oral sorts of tests. So, can, can, do you you know the alphabet? I presume. Oh yeah. Can you recite the alphabet without singing it? Singing it. A to Z without singing it. Can you recite A to Z without singing the alphabet? That's the only way we learn how to <laughs> sing it. That's the tricky um, part. Can you do that? Do you think? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. All right, thank you. I'm going to ask you to do another odd thing, and that is I'd like you to count backwards. And this time I'd like you to count backwards from the number 53, mm -hmm. all right, down to the number 33, counting backwards. 53 so 50, to 33. 52, 51, down to 53, do 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 
All right, thank you, Derek. Now, I'm going to conclude this by asking you, did I ask any of those questions of you prior to turning on this video? No. All right, did we rehearse that in any way, shape, or form? No, sir. All right, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We'll conclude this recording at this time.